<clears throat> and camera rolls. This is Scott, take one. Uh, so you've been doing this how many years? I have been doing film camp for four years. Four years. Thanks, Sadie. Uh -huh. And you're going to be senior? I am. How does it feel to have been, it, been doing it this long? It doesn't feel like it's been four years. Am I just... Yeah, you can yeah. talk to me. So it doesn't feel like it's been four years. You just, talk, just talk to me. We're just having a conversation. We're just having a nice conversation. Okay. Yeah. Hi, hi, Marshall. How hi, are you? Hi, Jonah. I'm delightful. Great. Hey, look at, look at wow. me when you're Can't talking. Count. Okay, I don't even know what you guys want to talk about. Just we want to talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> We all come in with ideas and then we start fleshing out the ideas and people add their little input to certain ideas. It's a great experience, you should definitely try it. Sam Dalton's pretty great, uh, Jason's pretty great. It's a, just a fun time. Um, at times it's hard and it's very stressful sometimes but like the experience that you get and the fun that you have is by far worth it. We audition one person at a time, they come in and they read a bit of the script for us and after that we'll talk about them and write notes and we'll decide who we want for the parts. And his laugh was worse than his joke! I'm totally gonna murder that thing. I'll. Take it on a ride sometime, babe. He just wouldn't shut up. The only thing that ran faster than his car was his mouth. I said, it's not a shoe, it's a rock. <laughs> Normally I'm on the other side, I'm the one auditioning, and it was really interesting to watch other people audition and to get to choose who I wanted to play the parts. Critical assumption is a factor that you have to consider when coming up with an idea. You have to be able to plan out your scene and know what props you have and need to know ahead of time before you get on location to know if you need to change something in the script because you're not able to get something. When I woke up at 4.30 <laughs> a.m., um, I was like, oh my gosh, today is going to be a long day. Probably 5, 10, maybe? Really early. Yeah, I don't get up this early. Every position in a shoot film crew, we got we each got to do at our own time and pace for our own scenes and everything. And I I found that to be really fun. I was asking some of my friends to see if they might want to come audition. And I knew that she didn't live um, nearby, so it was a long shot. I was like, oh, Rebecca would be great for this.
picked some strange scenes. It was fun to be in the back of the car during the car scene. Me and two other people were just laying down there trying to like be hidden from the camera. I like directing because I've directed stage before and it was kind of cool to see both sides and how it differs from film. By the end of um, our shoot, the, like the last hour or so, like it was all a blur. I don't even remember like really what happened. I just remember like the setup. I don't really, because I was so exhausted. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah, we're at more than 19 hours now. It's only been 19 hours, and I've also been up since 2 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll be all worth it, right? It's totally gonna be worth it. I don't know what other word to use other than so. So tired, so tired, like, times a lot of numbers. My favorite scene was probably the rock climbing wall, even though it was just a montage shot, because, I mean, it was rock climbing wall, people without harnesses, it was fun. And I was a really good actor in the end of the movie. I can't wait for everybody to see that. My favorite scene is our first scene in Chad, where we have all the terrible bachelors who Ava doesn't like. You have to make sure it's hitting the person right on and make sure the lighting is really good. I'm gonna work on making some songs for the soundtrack. I've already worked on a song for the band that we made up. Straw Straw. My favorite scene in the movie is probably um, the Straw Straw concert. I love the shots, I love the energy, and it's hysterical. We're creating two songs. Uh, one for a concert scene in the movie that's more upbeat and pop, and the other one's gonna be acoustic with terrible lyrics because the main character cannot sing at all and can't write music to save his life. <laughs> straw Straw! We're gonna blow Christian up with a car and it's gonna turn it into glitter. One scene, uh, Chad uh, gets hit by a truck and that's yours truly because um, they needed a truck. I was like, look, I got mine and I'll try to go as fast as I can in 100 feet. I was able to hit 40.
this year we kind of did different because in the years past we had two people in the editing room working on the whole movie. This year we had individuals pick their own scenes or work on other scenes and edit just those scenes. I just think it's kind of cool that we were able to make up a fake band and hopefully have a song that sounds good enough that people who watch the film and maybe a film festival will be like, who's this band Straw Straw? Where can we find their album? And be like, there actually isn't a band called Straw Straw, we just made them up. This is everything I wanted. Every year at film camp, I've learned more and more things that I didn't know the previous years. So, um, at the end of each camp, I always come out a better filmmaker than I was before. Film camp is a lot of fun, and you meet new people that you argue with sometimes, but it's still a really great feeling to get along with people that you know you've never met before in your life. When you got people like Sam Dalton, who have been in the original Footloose in several Disney movies, and nobody's doing it. And then we have Jason, who's new this year, but we've learned so much from him that it's just been a fantastic year. Every body loves me. <laughs> we don't want to spread our wings and fly, yeah. but we might have to spread our wings and fly. Yeah, it's not like we don't like Sam. We kind of like him. But <laughs> He's all right. But uh, we love coming back here every year, and it's just a great experience. And if we get the chance to, then I think we would all come back and work with Sam again, because Sam's just such a great guy to work with. And Jason. And Jason. Jason's great. I just need to start and it's such a rewarding experience and that it's fun, but the real fun comes from putting on a great project. You know, it's all worth it and it's paid off. And I would recommend this camp to anyone who's willing to work hard and is creative.